How we doing everybody? This is That Our Nerd back at it again with another algebra tutorial. Uh, this is our going to be my final example at least of the order of operations. Uh, this time it's going to include variables and uh, plugging the numbers into the variables. So I'm going to make this a negative 5 actually. Anyways, our, our acronym for remembering what, uh, what order to do our order of operations is PEMDAS, Pretty Early Morning, Dad and Santa. <laughs> right, uh, so our first one is parentheses or grouping symbols. Second rule, uh, the second thing we check, the second order that we do things in is exponents. Our third is multiply and divide. And our final step is do our addition and subtraction. Uh, so if we take a look, do we have any parentheses or grouping symbols? Uh, no, not really, right? Uh, so uh, then we can do our, our exponents. And so we have our, our variables here. Uh, let's just get these numbers plugged in real quick. So we have x squared, uh, and x is equal to 4, so that'll be 4 squared, plus y squared, which is 8, so plus 8 squared, divided by, and this is a very important thing to, uh, to know and to remember, is if you have a variable and you're plugging it in, uh, right, so we'd have negative 5 squared. Uh, but it's very important to put our parentheses on this. The reason is, is if we, if we didn't include this negative in the parentheses, uh, what it would do is it would do 5 squared and then take negative of it. Uh, so if you have a variable, you always put parentheses around the whole number, uh, whatever you put in. In this case, it's a negative 25. And then our last one here is plus 4. So our second step in our order of operations is to do our exponents. So we'll solve out these exponents. 4 squared is 16 plus 8 squared, right? 8 times 8, 64, divided by negative 5 squared. Well, negative 5 times negative 5, right? You're multiplying two negatives together, so now you're going to have a positive 25, plus 4. So now we're done with our exponents. We look to see if there's any multiplication division. Again, this, this fraction, this divide here, um, that doesn't mean we do 64 divided by 25. These are technically grouping symbols on top and bottom. So we need to solve our, our numerator and our denominator first before we do any, any division with that. So we do uh, our final step, addition and subtraction. We have 16 plus, uh, 16 plus 64, and that is equal to 80. And we have 25, divided, or, uh, 25 plus 4. And that'll leave us with 29. Doesn't look like we could simplify this anymore. I believe 29 is a prime number, um, so it's not like we can factor anything out of this and uh, and simplify it. So, anyways, hope hopefully this video was of was of help to you. Uh, again, this is the the second example um, in in our uh, order of operations series, I guess. Uh, so, if you want to see the other videos, uh, just click back. They're part of this. Uh, this playlist that I have going on here. Uh, again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to uh, put an order of operations, aka click right onto that like button. Uh, it'll help other people find this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more more math videos like this one. And have a just a swell day, you know. Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. You're awesome. You right there. Awesome sauce.